This is one of the craziest stories you're ever going to hear. During the U.S. Civil War, there was a guy named Robert Smalls. He was born a slave and he worked most of his life at the dockyards. When the Civil War broke out, the Confederate Army forced him to steer a steamboat. He asks the captain if he can bring his family on board the steamboat for a tour, and then he tells other black slaves and their families to hide on boats that are nearby. When it gets dark, he puts on a captain's uniform and a captain's hat and he starts sailing the boat. He goes and picks up the other slaves from the other boats and he decides to sail them to freedom. He gets to the Union Navy, hands over the ship, hands over the maps, and hands over the captain's code book, which helped the Union Navy turn the tide in the war. He takes that prize money after the war, teaches himself how to read and write, buys his former slave master's home, and then uses some of the money to build a school for former slaves. Then he goes on to get elected to Congress in South Carolina of all places. If that's not a Hollywood script, I don't know what is.